to acknowledge these feelings of inadequacies, but not to let them define my worth. And I don't know where I came up with that at 7.30 in the morning. <laughs> beautiful peeps and welcome welcome back to the channel my name is Kat and you're watching planning calm and here in this channel I love 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 to share with you all the many ways I can help you plan your way to calm and plan a calmer life now if you look behind me I am in my classroom and this is the only time I can catch some Sun before the Sun goes down hashtag winter months <laughs> where I can shoot a video with enough light um, and so yeah I'm in my classroom I still have some things I need to wrap up if you're new to the channel and you don't know I am a high school educator and so um, yeah this is my life right now um, I have really haven't had the opportunity to to film uh, as much as I want because I have been so busy as you all are as well so thank you so much for your patience uh, so we are gonna do a chit chat with Kat video today uh, simply because there's been a lot of things on my heart as I've entered in to uh, this new year of planning and a lot of things that have plagued me in the past that I find is starting to creep back up again and if I'm feeling like this I I can only imagine that viewers are feeling the same way as well. So I thought we will uh, dive in and and unpack um, this concept of perfectionism when it comes to planning. And I know I'm not alone. Comment down below if you are a perfectionist or a recovering perfectionist. And um, yeah, I would love to know how you are dealing with that. <laughs> There's no mystery that Planning helps me to be calm. But what I've been noticing this past two weeks or so is that every time I pick up my planner, and right now I'm doing, I'm using two planners, and if, actually three planners, um, if you wanna check out that video, I will link it in the cards above and in the description below. Uh, I'm using a Sterling Ink Planner, um, which is this one right here, and then my Passionate Penny Pincher Planner, as well as a Traveler's Notebook style for my on-the-go planner needs, which I will grab for you which is right here, I always keep it in um, my personal bag. And I love this, love this planner, but I don't know what it is. And I'm gonna do a separate video on how I've set up my common planner. Uh, so stay tuned to the channel for that. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on so you don't miss that. But um, this was my, I'm filming this the same day I'm going to edit and post it because it's been like that. But this has, this was my entry tape. This is just one of the, the daily pages. And um, I love this planner, it's great. But what I'm finding is that I've been doing a lot more journaling and reflection, which is, is great, but it's also unearthed a lot of feelings that I've had when it comes to my planning and planning in general and being part of the planner community and the planner Instagram and all that stuff. And that is just feeling, having these persistent feelings of being inadequate with um, just how I approach my planning, my life in general. Um, I'm somebody who loves to plan and planning has always made me feel calm, but there's just so much on the go right now that sometimes I don't always have time to plan the way I wanna plan, the way that, planning the way that makes me feel calm. And it's just jotting things down. And of course I'm jotting things down in a hurry. I'm checking things off a list and it doesn't look good. And that frustrates me. And I know first world problems, I'm sure. <laughs> But when you're somebody who struggles with anxiety, when you're somebody who is a perfectionist, when you're somebody who is just really, you know, planning is your hobby and you want it to look nice because it's your work, it represents you. I'm also sharing this work on the interwebs so people can see. And I, I put a lot of pressure on myself and I've really, the weight of those feelings has really gotten to me. Um, not to mention I've had some life be lifing type situations. I've had a friend pass away, um, another friend who's sick, um, one of my besties going through some things, mom, like there's just life be lifing, you know what I'm saying? And so turning to planning and using planning as a way to feel calm hasn't always been easy. And so um, I'm not to the point where I'm turning away from planning and I can't plan or anything like that. But what I need to do is ad address these feelings of why um, I have to have the need to be perfect and why my planner has to look a certain way, my writing has to be a certain way. And to be honest, uh, again, comment down below if that's you. Um, like even something as simple as my handwriting, like, I like I'm, I'm about to take an Instagram picture picture to make sure I catch the light but I'm like oh my handwriting isn't good in this like you know I, I shouldn't post a picture like come on right like 
And this is totally defeating the purpose of why I plan. And so I have to really address why I'm feeling like this. And I think at the end of the day, it really has to do with the fact that I don't feel like I'm enough. Um, as like I mentioned before, I'm a teacher and as an educator, there's a whole lot of stress and pressure that we face in our in our occupations. And I, I love doing what I do and the students that I serve and all that stuff, but it still feels like I'm never doing enough, even though there's just not enough time in the day to do everything. There's just not. <laughs> but I always am so hard on myself and I internalize that and make it about you know, what am I doing wrong? What do I need to improve, et cetera, et cetera. And I've carried this feeling, these feelings throughout other areas in my life as well. And, you know, again, I have to really hone in and recognize that that's just not true. I am enough. I'm just like, no matter what my handwriting is, no matter what stickers I use, no matter what planner I'm in, my planner game is my own personal journey and no matter what it looks like it's enough it's enough for me and that recognizing that has helped me to be more calm and has helped me to um, just really realize that it's not about appearances it's not about you know what someone else is doing and FOMO and all that stuff it's really about your personal relationship with your planning and using that to help live a calm life and um, one of the things here I, I wrote this early today um, and I just want to read it in a little section of this it says the reality is I'm human um, and prone to imperfections and limitations. As I reflect this morning, I realize that feelings, or I realize that it's crucial to acknowledge these feelings of inadequacies, but not to let them define my worth. And I don't know where I came up with that at 7.30 in the morning, <laughs> but I'll take it. Um, and you know, this is what I'm feeling. This is what I was feeling when I woke up today. And this is what has driven me to make this video for you folks today, to remind you that you're enough. Your, your planner game, whatever that is, whether you are sticker versus non-sticker, minimalist versus maximalist, um, you know, you like to check things off a list, you like to make journals, whatever your planning style may be, it's enough for you and your style is enough. You don't have to be like everybody else. You are worthy and worth it of whatever it is that you choose to do. And, you know, Long story short, I will always be a planner nerd and I'm proud of being a planner nerd, a planner addict, being a part of the planner community. And not only does it bring me calm, but it just makes me feel like I'm connected to each and every one of you who are watching, to all those who share in this love and passion for the written word, for stickers, for organization. Like, I mean, really, really. I always thought I was some weirdo when I was a kid because I love this stuff and here I am with you know almost 2,000 of you who watch and share in this wonderful um, fun hobby and so I can't lose sight of that and neither should you so um, if this video made any sense to you give it a thumbs up subscribe comment down below and let me know your thoughts I would love to hear how you are uh, planning in 2022 or oh, 2022 <laughs> how you're planning in 2024 um, i'd love to hear about your journey and your discoveries in uncovering and unveiling your planner journey so thank you so so much for watching and stay tuned to the channel as i showcase how i set up my uh sterling ink common planner so thank you so much for watching until next time take care be well be blessed and i'll see you all in the next planner video bye bye planner peeps